What's up, Gators? I'm AJ. And I'm Matthew, and welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. Now, before we get into anything, Cole has a little riddle for us. Good morning, afternoon, Gators. It's your boy, me, back at it again, embarrassing myself in front of the entire school for your entertainment. You're welcome. Let's see if you can wrap your head around these three riddles this morning. Alright, now we just set the move. Oh! It worked! A cowboy rides into town on Friday. He stays there for two days and then leaves on Friday. How did he do it? The answer? Stay with me now. The horse's name was Friday. Arnold Schwarzenegger has a big one. Michael J. Fox has a small one. Madonna doesn't have one. The Pope has one, but doesn't use it. And Bill Clinton ha has one and uses it all the time. What is it? Now, I know exactly what you're thinking of. And of course, it's a last name. Two fathers and two sons are fishing. Each of them catches one fish. How did they only bring back three fish? You really had to think outside the box for this one. The answer is that the group included a grandfather, a father, and a son. So, how did you do? And if you're one of those people who blurted out, I knew it, as soon as you heard the answers without actually knowing what the answers were, you disappoint me. I know who you are. Have a nice rest of your day, Gators. Huh, those are tough. I like simple jokes myself, though. Now let's hear some more. Let's go to Hunter for a comedy corner. If you are eligible for a parking pass on campus, don't forget to complete the course required on the LOLHS homepage. Now, let's go to Maddie for a moment of zen. Welcome to A Moment of Zen. Thanks, Maddie. Seniors, make sure to complete the senior events survey that was sent out on our mind and posted on my learning. Gators, your books are still on sale. They're available on Acorn. Make sure to get here soon because they're going to sell out fast. Juniors, a senior event remind for the class of 2022 has been made. So make sure to join with the code at 2022 event or at events 2022. Student Council applications in-person students can pick up applications are due by Friday, April 23rd, 2021 at 2.30 p.m. See Mrs. Hiltz or, or our website for more details. Student Council has announced the themes for this year's Spring Break Spirit Week. The days will be as follows. April 26th is Maui Monday, wear Hawaiian or tropical attire. April 27th is Extraterrestrial Tuesday. You can dress as either a cowboy or an alien, which theme will be more popular. April 28th is What You're Watching Wednesday. Dress like a character from a TV show or platform to represent them. Seniors come to school as a senior citizen to represent the Golden Girls Juniors, wear something Netflix-related. Sophomores dress like your favorite Nickelodeon characters 
or ones from your childhood or freshman, dress up as your favorite Disney character. April 29th is Troop Thursday. Find a group of friends and dress the same way for that day. Here's Michael and Reggie for a sports update. What's up, Gators? I'm Reggie. And I'm Michael, and we were back with some more sports updates. This past Wednesday, our boys' baseball team beat Central 2-0. Congrats on our track team going to districts. Also, congrats on the girls' tennis team for making regionals. They played Seminole High School this past Wednesday and lost 6-1. Congrats on a great season, Gators. See you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Gators, make sure you are checking the LOLHS calendar to find important dates. Hello, my friends. My name is Jose. I'm from 10th grade and I'm a fan of Swamp Talk. The thing that I most like about Swamp Talk is that every time there is a, a new episode, like they just gave out the right random stuff that is very funny sometimes. I remember that once they did like a review from a Happy Meal from McDonald's. Oh my God, that was the best. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes. Uh, so in Swamp Talk, I would like to see more of those reviews of really random stuff, but uh, that are very fun. Uh, that make, make me laugh a lot. So yeah, I, I want to, I want to see more of those. Keep being funny, muy divertido. Yesterday was Earth Day. Let's check in with Owen for more information. Hey Gators, it's Owen. Yesterday was Earth Day, and in honor of celebrating, here are some fun facts that you probably didn't know about. Earth Day was actually founded in 1970 after a massive oil spill off the coast of Santa Barbara. The very first Earth Day sparked an environmental movement, leading towards the creation of NOAA and the EPA, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Although Earth Day started as an American holiday, it's now celebrated by almost the entire world, including 191 countries across the globe. Across the globe, this environmental friendly holiday is actually known as International Mother Earth Day as named by the United Nations in 2009. Each year, over 1 billion people celebrate Earth Day. Here are some things that you could do to help the future of our great planet. At home, there are many ways you can help, including creating a compost bin or to start recycling. Buying energy saving light bulbs can also help reduce our carbon footprint. Another great way to cut back on our carbon emissions is carpooling. Don't wait. Take action today, because even the smallest change can make a big impact. Earth is home to some very unique plants and animals, and we need to make it our priority to protect them before it's too late. For more information on what you can do, visit EarthDay.org today. Well, that's it for today, Gators. Thanks for tuning in. This is Owen reporting for Swamp Talk. That's all for today, Gators. Follow us on Twitter at L-O-L-H-S Journalism. Have a great day.